Good afternoon. Um, as Stephanie mentioned, liftoff was successful. First stage flight was successful um, up until 139 seconds into that flight. Uh, we experienced uh, an anomaly, an anomaly, excuse me, which led to a failure of the mission. Uh, the, uh, we are obviously collecting data uh, right now and will be for the next few hours. Uh, what I can tell you at this point is the first stage flight uh, remained nominal. We do not expect this to have been a first stage issue. Uh, we saw some pressurization indications in the second stage, which we'll be tracking down and, uh, and following up on there. Um, we did receive telemetry from Dragon uh, after the event as well. Uh, so we'll be continuing to monitor all the data that we collect to identify the issue that we experience, fix it, and get back to flight. Again, this is a tough day. This is not where I really wanted to be on a Sunday afternoon, but space flight's not easy, as we've described to you before, and, and especially I think this points out the difficulty of and the challenges we face in space flight. And, you know, we started with the orbital loss last fall and had the progress loss uh, several months ago, and now the SpaceX loss. And, and there's really no commonality across these three events other than the fact that it's space and it's difficult to go fly. This is a, a blow to us. We lost a lot of important research equipment on this flight. Uh, we lost the uh, the uh, IDA, the docking adapter that we had planned to, to set us up for later. Again, we'll be able to recover from that. We lost a spacesuit. Uh, again, we'll we'll see how we can recover from that. And we lost a lot of research. So again, it's a it's a pretty uh, important loss to us. Or it's it's I don't want to minimize the loss to us. But again, from a macro level standpoint, the crew's in no danger. Three, two, one, ignition sequence start and lift off of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, adding to the International Space Station access for future American rockets.